never been afraid of the wall. That's what makes him such a good outfielder. Kane back up the middle. Backhanded Baez, and now Yelich is going to be caught in a rundown. Kane on his way to second. Yelich trying to stay in it as long as he can. And now Yelich is safe. Smart. And now Kane is going to be safe at first. Wow. What a heads up play by Lorenzo Kane. Unbelievable. I mean, you talk about thinking that one through. He never touched second base. He allowed Yelich to get back to second. Nobody was at first. And he just scooted back to first base. I mean, that's brilliant. I mean, it how is. many guys are going to think that way? I mean, that is just smart, smart baseball by Lorenzo Kane. My goodness. I have never seen that. That gave me goosebumps. Man, me too. <laughs> and look at it. He can check it out. He's saying, go ahead. He sees nobody at first base. Go. And he's able to sneak back to first base. Man. Wow. That is so good. That is. On so many levels to have the situational awareness of Lorenzo Cain. So you know what the Cubs were doing? They were running Yelich back to second, thinking there were going to be two guys at second. Right. They run him back there. Cain realizing nobody at first, and there he is at first base. And Unbelievable. Remember, the player that occupies the base is the one who is safe. So Cain. Knowing the whole time, even if he's tagged out, it's no loss at all. And right there, you see no throw. Oh, man. They just run him back. That was Chatwood, the pitcher. And he just goes back to first. Well that, done. That is going to be a highlight you will see for a long, long time. Every college and high school coach in the country should clip that one off. Now, and Anthony Rizzo wasn't there because he was covering home plate. You know Contreras kind of snuck down the line because it was a mad dash. I mean all the infielders are getting involved in that rundown. Contreras went to third Rizzo then came in and covered home plate nobody at first.